by satellite from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Carlos Monzon on the left in the white trunks. Emil Griffith with his back to you now in the darker trunks. What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. I want to continue to examine 100 years of world championship fights. Right now, you're taking a look at Carlos Monzon and Emil Griffith. Now, these two men would meet each other twice. But you're looking at the 1971 fight between these two men. I wanted to show you that fight because I believe it was a better version of these two men in their prime. But they would also fight each other Saturday, June 2nd, 1973. And Monzon would defeat Emil Griffith twice. The first time he defeated him would be in 14 rounds scheduled for 15. Second time would go to distance 15 rounds. And Carlos Monzon would be defending his WBA, WBC in both fights, World Middleweight Championship titles. The second fight would be broadcast on ABC Wild World of Sports. Now Carlos Monzon was 30 years old, he stood 5 foot 11 and a half inches, he weighed 159 pounds and he had a 76 inch reach. He walked into the ring with a record of 79 wins, 3 losses, 9 draws and 55 knockouts. As for Emma Griffiths, he was 35 years old. He stood 5 foot 7 and a half inches, he weighed 157 pounds and he had a 72 inch reach. He walked into the ring with a record of 76 wins, 13 losses, 1 draw and 21 knockouts. That's in 1973. So let's take a look at these two men as they figure out who would be the champion at the end of the 15th round. Amo Griffiths is to your right and Carlos Monzon is to your left. He is the champion. In their 1973 fight, 23,000 fight fans would witness Amo Griffith and Carlos Monzon. Now Carlos Monzon would stop Emil Griffith. Two minutes and 32 seconds of the 14th round in this particular fight. Monzon weighed 159 pounds and Emil Griffith weighed 155 pounds. Emma Griffith has been in the ring with fighters such as Ruben Hurricane Carter where he was stopped in the first round. He'd have a three fight series with Benny Kidd Perrette in 1962 would be a tragic in the ring in New York's Madison Square Garden. That would change a lot of rules because of that fight. Carlos Monzon is from Argentina. And Amo Griffith is from the U.S. Virgin Islands. on the 
right of your screen in the lighter colored trunks. Griffith moving forward. The jab has been keeping him away so far. Bones on the surprise knockout winner over Nino Benvenuti almost a year ago. He's since defended against Benvenuti successfully. He's knocked him out twice. In his career, he's won 72 fights, 34 of them by knockouts, while losing only three at the age of 29 at the peak of his powers. Been a little holding and hitting there. See how long that left arm of Monzon appears. Monzon had a 76 inch reach, Griffin had a 72 inch reach. Monzon won the Argentine title way back in 1966, five years ago by defeating Jorge Fernandez. Won the South American Championship the following year, now the world champion. Jorge Fernandez was some fighter, very strong puncher. Monzo stopped Benvenuti, Nino Benvenuti twice, and they thought the same thing would happen to Amo Griffin. But he did get him in the 15th, uh, 14th round, scheduled for 15.
Spanish-speaking voices in Argentina for the most part. And we have driven 5,300 miles from his New York home. Monzon, perhaps a little too careful in front of this home crowd. It's the, it's the, the night of his life. Yesterday was greeted and talked to by the president of Argentina. Well, now beginning to move, but there's a left by Griffith. You might have heard a little. That kind of punchy left from Griffith. The Mons are also doing a good job on a meal right now. Best action of the fight so far. Griffith looking a little rocky. 25 seconds to go in this round. Griffith is who? Griffith is holding on, but he's trying to fight back, but make sure he's he's careful as well. Ah, oh, very good left hook thrown by Emma Griffith. Carlos Monzon controls Griffith with the jab. Round's over. Jab is killing Griffith. Throwing him off his rhythm. It's causing him to reach. Amo Griffith cannot win this way. He might be at a disadvantage. Oh, good right hand by Griffith. Monzon returns the favor. Nice little short uppercut on the inside by Emma Griffith. And a right hand thrown by Carlos Monzon. And this is going to happen from time to time. Because of the reach advantage of Carlos Monzon. Griffith this hurt. Can't get himself together. Oh, with a right hand by Monzo. Oh, 
Oh, good right hand. And a good left hook. Griffin has to fight back. Can't hold on. He's doing the right thing at this point. He'll rest in the corner. 